Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to Liberty Life Lessons. This will be episode number 39. The song I'm gonna be teaching you guys today is a song from the intro, and that's called Sunbleach Girl by Shag Rock. This is another requested song, so big shout out to Billy Elwood for requesting this one. As soon as Billy requested it, I recognized the song immediately, and I knew I really wanted to make a lesson for it eventually, so I'm just now getting around to that. This is a really, really fun song to play, as you guys can probably tell from the intro. There's two guitar parts throughout the entire song, and both are finger picked, so I'm gonna show you guys both parts. I'm gonna show you guys the lead part on my Les Paul, and then I'll show you guys the rhythm part on my Strat. At the very end, I'll also briefly cover the bass. There's not much to go over for the bass, but there is a really cool bass part in the chorus, so I'll show you guys that part. Again, this is one of my all-time favorite songs to play, so I'm really excited to show you guys how to play it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the lesson. All right, so as you can see, I got my Les Paul here. I got my capo on the third fret, so I'm gonna teach you guys the lead part here, which is actually finger-picked. So I'll show you guys what it sounds like first up close and then we'll zoom in and I'll break it down in more detail for you guys. So it's gonna sound like this. to an F to a C is basically what we're playing there. So for the A minor shape, I'm gonna pluck the root note with my thumb, then I'm gonna pinch the B and A strings, and then with my index, I'm gonna hit the second fret there of the G string. So that part, right? And bonus points for slapping. You can hear in the studio version, they're definitely like slapping. It's like a common finger picking technique that uh, like John Mayer likes to use a lot too. So definitely bonus points if you want to slap in between. And again, it'll sound like. Right, that's it for the A minor. Then we're on to the F. And for that one, I'm gonna hit the open E string. And I'm gonna fret the first fret of the E string with my thumb. You can also use your index finger, but I like to use my thumb here. So, and with the rest of our hand, we're gonna make this F shape. You play it with your ring finger and pinky finger together like this, like you would a normal F. Or you can play the short one, which is the one I like to play, where you don't use your pinky at all. Then we're gonna pinch the E and B string, similar to what we did for the A minor. Then I'm gonna use my middle and index finger to hit the D and G strings together like that. Then I'm gonna take that shape off, and as I take it off, I'll hit the open D and E, and I'm gonna hit the A and D strings for the C shape. So that part slowly. So then we're into the C shape, right? And we're gonna do the same thing we did with the first two chord shapes. I'm gonna pluck the root note and the B string. Then I'm gonna hit the G string open. Then the top two strings of the chord. Then back to the open G string. 
And then I'm gonna go to this B minor seven shape, hit the root note and just do a couple quick strums. And then we're back into the A minor. So that part slowly again. play that whole thing together slowly so you guys can get a feel for it. Right? And one more time up to speed. how you play the lead part for the verse. All right, cool, so now we know how to play that lead part for the verse. Let's go ahead and loop it, and then I'm gonna show you how to play the second guitar part over that on my Strat. So once again, it's gonna sound like this. All right, cool. So you can see how it sounds. Really, really easy. I'm gonna start with my index finger right here on the fourth fret of the B string and my middle finger on the fifth fret of the D string. And we'll just pluck those. All right, and then I'm gonna go up to six with my middle finger on the D string and I'll drop my ring finger right here on the sixth fret of the B string and we'll pluck those. And then we'll pluck them again and slide up to eight and eight. Back to six to six. And then back to the original. That's it for that part, right? So. And then we're playing the B minor seven on the lead part. I'm gonna come all the way up here to 12 on the D string and 11 on the B string. Hit him twice, and on the second one, I'm gonna slide back down to the original pattern we had, the original shape. So, once again, the whole part. All right, cool, so now we know the two parts for the verse. Let's move on and learn the two parts for the chorus now. So for the chorus, we're just gonna have three chords. We're gonna start with a C minor. All right, and then our next chord is gonna be right here. It's gonna be a A flat major. And then we'll have an E flat major. Generally, it'll go two times on the C minor, then once each on the major chords there. So it'll sound like this. Cool, so let's go ahead and loop those chords, and then I'm gonna show you the lead lick that we're gonna play on top of that. So it's gonna sound like this. Cool, so we got that looped and you'll notice I left some space after that first chord and that was so I could play that lick on the Les Paul there. 
All right, so we just looped the chorus for the chorus, right? So let's go ahead and learn that tasty lead lick that we play for the chorus, right? And we'll play it over those chords. I'll go ahead and play it real quick so you guys know what it sounds like. <laughs> slow there. There we go. Cool. All right, so it's really, really easy. It's a lot easier than it sounds. I'm going to start with my ring finger on the third fret of the B string right here. I'm going to pluck that. And then I'm going to pluck it again and bend it. While it's up, I'm going to pluck it again and do a quick little pull off. So... I'm in on the second fret of the G string right there. So, cool. So that's the first lick. The second lick is gonna sound like this. I'm gonna start how we did the first one with my ring finger right here on the third fret of the B string. Slide into five. I'm gonna hit third fret E. Then I'm gonna hit third fret B. Slide down to one and end on that same note, second fret of the G string there, so. All right. All right, so all together. And, and over the loop. Sweet. Cool, so now you know all four guitar parts. All right, so here's a little bonus I wanna throw in for you guys. The bass is really, really simple for this song. For the verse, we're pretty much just gonna be playing the bass notes. So we're gonna start with the C. And we'll go to the uh, G sharp or A flat right there. And the E flat. And then for the chorus, that's where we get to the... Right, and all that is is uh, third fret of the A string right here, and we'll go three, six, three, on the D string there, five. So, into that A flat and the E flat. All right, cool, so that's how you play the bass. All right, so I really hope you guys enjoyed that lesson. I wanna ask you guys to please like this video. Also, please consider subscribing. I wanna thank you guys so, so much for watching to the end of the video. And until next time, my name is Charlie with Liberty Loft Lessons, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.